Bonjour, les étudiants of uh, Ninth Standard. Hope you're doing good. Uh, hope you did your exams well. And uh, so today's class will be uh, starting a new lesson. Okay, so it's lesson four, as we already finished lesson three, two, one. And this time it's lesson four. And dîner en famille. Okay, and dîner en famille. So it's actually a dinner. Okay, a family time dinner. Okay, so or a dinner with the family. And uh, in this lesson we got uh, uh, not bad exercises and today we'll be doing just some verbs okay some irregular verbs that we already saw in sound standard eight standard so we'll be seeing them again a small revision then we'll be doing just the two exercises the first two exercises uh, in which we'll be conjugating the given verbs in present tense that's it okay so then we got uh, future prosh and then imperative and so on in this lesson uh, we'll be doing that in the upcoming sessions okay so take care let's get into the slides and here, lesson 4, and dîner en famille, a family dinner, okay, and dîner en famille, okay, a family dinner, a family time dinner, or a dinner with the family. So in this lesson, we'll be saying these, okay, so especially the verbs, they are important. Uh, they are not new verbs, okay, these verbs you have seen already. Uh, les verbes manger, aller, aimer, finir. Savoir, connaître, prendre, sortir, pouvoir et vouloir. Okay, uh, so these verbs will be uh, revising in the Teams class also. Okay, so come prepared so that uh, you can uh, recite the verbs. Okay, the conjugation of the verbs you can say. We'll check the pronunciation and the meanings. Okay? And uh, so the verb manger. Okay, it's a G E R ending verb. Okay, it's a G E R ending verb. So if it's a G E R ending verb, you know what to do. Okay, when in uh, new form for the subject new, we'll be adding e o n s instead of o n s. Okay, just for the g e r ending verbs for the new form, we'll be adding e before the ending. Okay, so e o n s. The verb aller is uh, an irregular verb. Okay, it will be like je vais tu vas. It's not a normal e r ending verb. The verb aime uh, it's normal e r, but it starts with a vowel. So you got to do two things. So which is you got to cut uh, e from je, the first person singular, you cut e and add a g apostrophe. Then when you pronounce for nous, vous, il, elle, it will be like nous aimons, vous aimez, ils aiment, elles aiment. Okay, so that one, the verb finir, it's a regular ir ending verb. Okay, you hope you remember the endings, is, is, it, it, and so on. Savoir and connaître, both verbs mean uh, to know. Okay, savoir, it's for fact, information, for actions, we'll be using savoir. Connaître, we'll be using for persons, for places, and when you know something by heart, okay, we'll be using connaître. The verb prendre, which is to take, prendre, it's actually kind of root verb uh, for comprendre, apprendre, and so on. Prendre, which is to take, sortir. To go out, to exit, to go out, sortir, it's a T-I-R ending verb, sortir, partir will be conjugated the same way, okay, sortir, to go out, it's not a normal I-R, it's T-I-R ending, they are, uh, endings will be different, S-S-T-T -T and so on, pouvoir, okay, pouvoir, it's one important verb, pouvoir, it's can or able to, can or able to, it's really irregular, okay, you can't guess the conjugation by seeing the uh, infinitive form, Okay, and then the verb vulvar, which means want or wish. Vulvar and pouvoir will be conjugated almost the same way. Okay, vulvar, which is want. And uh, now we'll see the conjugation of the verbs and we'll be doing the first two exercises. Okay, then we got in this lesson lamperative, article partitive, and future prosh, uh, which we'll be seeing later in the next session. And here we got the conjugation of the verbs. So the verb manger. We start manger, which is to eat. So please copy these verbs neatly in your notebook. Write the meanings, write the English meanings with a pencil uh, just for the infinitive form. Just for the infinitive form, write the meanings of these verbs. Okay? Uh, manger, to eat. Je mange, tu manges, il mange, elle mange, on mange. Nous mangeons, vous mangez, il mange, elle mange. So the verb aller. Je vais, tu vas, il va, elle va, on va. Nous allons, vous allez, ils vont, elles vont. So the verb aller means to go. To go. Then the verb aimer. Aimer, j'aime, 
tu aimes, il aime, elle aime, on aime. Nous aimons, vous aimez, ils aiment, elles aiment. So, aimer, which means to like or to love. See? Then the verb finir, finir to finish. Je finis, tu finis, il finit, elle finit, on finit. Nous finissons, vous finissez, ils finissent, elles finissent. Okay, so when you are trying the verb finir, uh, try to write the verb choisir also. Okay, the verb choisir. Uh, it will be a bit confusing because we already have is in the verb. So uh, when you add the ending, then it will be confusing, ex especially for the new form, new and vu form. So try to uh, try that. So then uh, the other verbs, savoir, connaître, prendre, sortir. Savoir, which means to know. Je sais, tu sais, il sait, elle sait, on sait. Nous savons, vous savez, ils savent, elles savent. Okay, savoir, to know. Then the verb connaître, connaître which means to know also. Okay, je connais, tu connais, il connaît, elle connaît, on connaît. Nous connaissons, vous connaissez, ils connaissent, elles connaissent. Careful the spelling of connaître. So both savoir and connaître, uh, they mean uh, to know. Okay, the difference is savoir will be used for information, okay, facts and so on that you know. And even for the actions, okay, you know, you know to do that and so on, you, you'll be using the verb savoir. Whereas connect will be using to say about person and places. I know Paris, I know uh, this person, okay, will be using the verb connect. And also for something like poems and songs and so on, we'll be using connect. Okay, so voilà. then the verb prendre, prendre to take. So, prendre is a verb we'll be using for uh, petit déjeuner, déjeuner, goûter, et uh, dîner. Okay, prendre le dîner. Okay, we don't say manger le dîner. No. Okay, we don't say eat dinner. Okay, we say have or take dinner. Okay? Prendre, je prends, tu prends, il prend, elle prend, on prend. Nous prenons, vous prenez, ils prennent, elles prennent. Okay? So, the verb prendre. Then the last verb is sortir. Okay, sortir, to leave, to go out. Uh, je sors, tu sors, il sort, elle sort, on sort. Nous sortons, vous sortez, il sort, elle sort. So you can take like uh, two pages, okay, two pages to write all these verbs. Okay, so here we got uh, the verbs, other verbs. Uh, pouvoir, vouloir and écrire. So these verbs will be used in the lesson. Okay, these verbs will be used in the lesson and they are totally regular. Okay, so you got to remember the conjugation. We already did this in sound standard. Okay. Pouvoir, can or able to. Okay, can or able to. I can that way. Je peux, tu peux, il peut, elle peut, on peut. Nous pouvons, vous pouvez, ils peuvent, elles peuvent. Okay, so pouvoir is can. So mostly the verb pouvoir will be followed by another verb. Okay, an infinitive form of the verb. So the, then the verb vouloir. So vouloir and the pouvoir, you can see they got the same endings. Okay, they'll be having the same endings. The last letters you can see. Um, je veux, tu veux, il veut, elle veut, on veut. Nous voulons, vous voulez, ils veulent, elles veulent. Okay, so even the verb vouloir will be followed by a verb uh, most of the time. But even there is a possibility of having a noun next to it. Okay, for example, je veux un café. Je veux du café, je veux un café. So, which means I want a coffee. Okay, je veux sortir. Okay, je veux sortir. I want to go out. So, the verb will work can be followed by a noun or by a verb. Okay? So, the last verb it's écrire. Écrire, you know very well, which means to write. Okay, W R I T E, to write. J'écris, tu écris, il écrit, elle écrit, on écrit. Nous écrivons, vous écrivez, ils écrivent, elles écrivent. So, here is the first exercise. Mettez les verbes au présent de l'indicatif. So, you got to put the verbs in present. Okay. So, you can see uh, the sentences. You got five sentences. And in bracket, we got, uh, uh, in three sentences, we got two verbs. Okay. In bracket. And for the second and last sentence, we just got one verb. Okay. So, uh, when you got one verb, you don't have any problem. You'll be just conjugating for the new form. Okay, so uh, example, the second one. Nous mangeons souvent au restaurant. Nous mangeons. 
it's a ger ending verb so the ending will be like e o n s m a n g e o n s okay and same way for the last one vous écrivez une lettre écrivez e c r i v e is it okay vous écrivez une lettre you write a letter okay so the other sentences okay what about the other sentences we got two verbs in the bracket so what you got to do keep in mind in french the, only the first verb will be conjugated the second verb remains in infinitive form okay the first verb for the first uh, sentence uh, we got vouloir and sortir okay vouloir means want sortir to go out so in this case we'll be conjugating just the verb vouloir not the verb sortir the sortir the spelling will remain the same s o r t i r so the third sentence same way il savoir écrire so no to write okay so the verb savoir will be conjugated écrire will remain the same écrire we don't conjugate okay we don't change the spelling okay just for the verb savoir will be conjugating uh, according to the subject il so the last before one aller prendre aller prendre to go to take so aller to go so we'll be conjugating just the verb aller okay so now we'll see the sentences al ve sortir okay the first sentence al ve sortir le soir so the verb vouloir will be conjugated for al form v e u t al ve v u t sortir le soir al ve sortir le soir okay she wants to go out evening the second one we saw nous mangeons souvent au restaurant we often eat at the restaurant okay nous mangeons m a n g e o n s the third one il sav écrire il sav s a v e n t s a v e n t il sav écrire so the last before one tu vas prendre tu va prendre okay v a s okay the verb aller when you conjugate for tu it will becomes v a s tu va prendre ton petit déjeuner you're going to take your breakfast okay this is future proche okay this is a tense called future proche so the last one vous écrivez une lettre vous écrivez e c r i v e z vous écrivez une lettre okay you write a letter so now you got the answers please check if you have written correctly alve sortir le soir nous mangeons souvent au restaurant il sait écrire tu vas prendre ton petit déjeuner vous écrivez une lettre So that's it. The first exercise is over. So now we'll head to the second one. So the second exercise is with connaître or savoir. Okay. So the verb connaître or savoir will be using uh, both means to know. Okay. When to use connaître and when to use savoir. Okay. We have a small idea about it. Okay. So the first sentence, for example, tu dash la Tour Eiffel. Okay. Tour Eiffel. It's a monument. It's a place. It's considered as a place. So what we'll be using it's actually the verb connaître. Okay? So tu connais la Tour Eiffel. Okay? Tu connais la Tour Eiffel. C O N N A I S. The second one. Il ne dash pas comment appeler mon nom. Okay? So he doesn't know. Okay, uh, when you translate, it will be like he doesn't know how to spell my name. Okay, to spell it's an action, it's a verb to spell. Epele, which is to spell, it's an action. So whenever you got an action, mostly we'll be using the verb savoir. Okay? So il ne sait pas comment appeler mon nom. Okay, il ne sait pas comment appeler mon nom. He doesn't know how to spell my name. S A I T will be used. The third one, 
Nous savons nager. So again, we got a verb next to the uh, to know. Okay, so nager, which means to swim. We know to swim. Okay, nous savons nager. Okay, so at times there will be a confusion to use connaître or savoir. Okay, so even like most of the time, uh, everyone will be doing this mistake. Okay, so most of them they will be doing this mistake. Okay, until it's familiarized. Okay, so until you master this. So we'll be using connaître instead of savoir and savoir instead of connaître. Okay, so for the third one, it's nous savons nager. So the fourth one, vous dash le résultat. So résultat is a noun. Okay, the result. Okay, you know the result. Okay, so in this case, you can use the verb connaître. Vous connaissez le résultat. Okay, vous connaissez le résultat. Or you can even sav you can use savoir. Okay, but connaître is better. Vous connaissez le résultat. Okay, you know the result. Vous connaissez le résultat. So the last one, elle dash ses leçons par cœur. So she dash the lessons by heart. Okay, so par cœur, as I told you, so to know by heart. So we'll be using uh, the verb connaître. Okay, something that you know by heart, we'll be using the verb connaître. Elle connaît ses leçons par cœur. Okay, elle connaît, C-O-N-N-A-I-T. Elle connaît ses leçons par cœur. She knows her lessons by heart. So here we go, the answers. So, connaître ou savoir. Tu connais la tour Eiffel? Il ne sait pas comment épeler mon nom. Nous savons nager. Vous connaissez le résultat. Elle connaît ses leçons par cœur. So that's it for today. Okay, please write the verbs. Okay, all the verbs that we saw. Uh, you write it neatly in two pages. That will be fine. And then these two exercises, please copy it in your notebook. Okay, so then we'll meet in the Teams class. Okay? So merci les gars. Au revoir. Take care.